Tonight, new video showing the moment a gun is pointed at an East Bay daycare worker just outside of the business. We have kids inside, so that's kind of a scary situation. Frightening moments for an Oakland daycare center. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Claudine Wong. That incident happened last Thursday morning when there were children inside of that facility. Surveillance video showing two suspects, one armed with a gun, pulling up in front of that center and stealing a car right from the driveway. New at 10, KTV's Zach Sauce is live in Oakland after speaking with the owner of that daycare. And Zach, what is she telling you? Well, understandably, just how relieved she is that no one was hurt, as you mentioned. This all happening around the time that parents were dropping off their, ki their kids. Kids were already inside the building. Employees were inside the building. And the owner's son, I spoke to him as well, and he says that gun was drawn despite the fact that there were a number of signs that read child daycare on the building. Any situation like that, you kind of just think about what could happen. Like, you know, what if he just decided to fire? It was around 7 in the morning last Thursday when Jelani Bain says two masked men rolled up to his mother's East Oakland daycare, surveillance cameras capturing it all. Popped the window, took the window out. Inside, his mother, Kishna Hamilton, her daughter's Camaro, parked outside. It kind of rumbles when you hear the, the engine start up. So that's how you know the vehicle's being started. Her assistant, who was too shaken to appear on camera, opening the front door to check on the car to find a gun pointed in her direction. It was really early in the morning, so I don't think it was too many kids inside at the time. But, you know, bullets have no names on them, so if he would have started shooting, it would, it would be terrible. The assistant running back inside. We have signs in the front of our daycare that say 24 hour child care. And we had parents scheduled to be coming at any moment. Thankful no one was hurt, but worried about the future. I fear for my, my life. I fear continuing to have my business in a space where I don't feel comfortable and safe. As for her daughter, she's ready to move out of Oakland. All the equipment she works with as a professional hairstylist was in the trunk. Oakland is missing out on the new business owner who won't be opening up her business in Oakland. She'll be taking it elsewhere. This as Oakland released new data Thursday reporting overall crime in the city down 33% compared to last year. I wouldn't say the crime rate is down. I think the way things are reported might be a little different. Jelani and his mother's view, many neighbors have just given up reporting everyday crime. It really hurts because we love Oakland. We love being here, but something has to happen. You know, because it's getting out of control. Her message to city leaders. We've got to see more police presence. We've got to see more community engagement with the police. We've got to see these criminals get off the street. And it turns out this is not even the first time they have had a family car stolen. They say it has happened outside the daycare three times before. So, Claudine, frankly, they say they're not expecting to get their daughter's car back. Oh, that is such a shame, Zach. I know they, I mean, they obviously already have cameras up to try to protect themselves. Do they have any plans to do anything differently to try to, you know, kind of change the situation out there? You know, they're, they're kind of at a loss right now. They say the best solution they've found has been to make sure that they block their cars into the driveway. Mm, all right. Well, uh, hopefully they get it back, uh, and, uh, and we're certainly sorry this happened to them. Zach, thanks so much for that report.